Well, hey there, Power Pearlers. I want to welcome you to another episode. So today, I've got no bells and whistles for you. No music, just me, my microphone, and you, my friend. So today, I'm sharing a Facebook Live that I recently did in the Power Pearls community, and I thought it would be awesome to share it with you as a podcast episode because the energy was so awesome. I was going to share a different recording of you know of what I shared in the community, but I thought this version is you know it w- I I think that this version is much more in flow with what I w- with the point that I wanted to get across because I touched on some topics that I didn't actually plan on, and so I I think it really fit in with the tone of the broadcast. So without further ado, enjoy the episode. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. This is exciting. So I am going live here in our Power Pearls group for the first time in a while. I'm using Zoom, so I'm just trying to get everything situated here. And I'm using my fancy podcasting microphone, as you can see. So anyway, so welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I want to welcome you to the community if you are new here. And I just want to see if I can make sure. Welcome, welcome. Okay, good. I can hear myself. That's a good thing. All right. So hello, my name is Kara Gott Warner, and I am the host of Power Pearls podcast. I am also a life coach and a business coach. And my passion is knitting and time management is my jam these days. So if you're new to the community, I want to welcome you. Okay. So uh, I thought this would be a great way to get to know each other and to have, you know, just like a little conversation together about what this community is all about. Because I know a lot of you have joined for many different reasons, for a different challenge. Over the course of time, I've had many different challenges and things happening, but now it's really focused on the podcast and the topics that I cover on the show, which are how to connect the dots between creativity. I also talk about mindset and how to gain confidence and transformation with your passion for knitting, crochet, and making. So today I'm super excited to share details about a new podcast episode. It's actually coming soon. I was hoping that it would be, um, it would be live like today. Um, but I thought, Hey, this is really kind of cool because I can share this with you guys here in the group. And since this is the power pearls community that you guys get the first live airing, so to speak, right? So before the episode goes live, I'll share what what the episode is about, but I'll also kind of add in some extra little tidbits as well and ask you some burning questions so that we can really get this party started. Sound good? Sound good? So um, I am going to just, you know, just start by asking you, um, you know, why you join this community? Because we're going back, it's been like years since I started this community. And, and like I said earlier, if you're just joining in, it's morphed from, you know, lots of different things. It's been lots of different things. And, um, and so nowadays I'm talking about the podcast and I'm talking about time management, mindset, really focusing on a lot of the same issues that we deal with, whether we're knitters, um, it doesn't matter what walk of life, you know, uh, creatives, you know, we can be, uh, we focus on creativity, but we all, it all comes back to some of the, you know, a lot of the same issues when it comes to mindset. And so those are the things that, that we're going to be talking about on the podcast, or I have been talking about, and I'll talk about here, but Hey, you know what? We could talk about our knitting. We could talk about, you know, we have questions about a technique. Hey, whatever you need, that's why we're here because it's about, um, being in a community with people that are just like you, like we're, we're like-minded, you know, we have the same passion for, for making things and being creative with our hands. Right. 
So I would love it for you guys to pop into the comments and share why you joined this community. When you originally did, what was your, you know, what was the reason and what you hope to get out of it? So like I said earlier, maybe you joined a challenge. I had a shawls challenge. Uh, maybe you joined for that because that was why I started this group in the first place. And maybe you found found this community by doing a search, or maybe you heard me talk about it on the podcast. So, you know, just pop in the comments, share, you know, what you, why you're here, why, or why you joined and what you hope to get out of it. And while you're doing that, and then I'm going to just keep on talking, I'm going to look at my phone and, um, and just kind of turn down my volume here. So, um, I'm going to read off some of the, some of the comments that are coming through. So Kathleen, hello, nice to see you. I love this community. I don't post often, but I love the inspiration and support here, especially from you, Kara. That's so sweet. Um, and, uh, and Kathleen joined for the shawls challenge. Awesome. That's great. So happy to, to, to just to see you guys popping in here. Um, it's been a long time since I've gone live in this community. And I think this is really the sweet spot. This is the magic, the magic sauce or the secret sauce because I think that um, we can have more conversations surrounding the things like the podcast, what I'm talking about on the podcast and bring it here into the group to make it actionable. Because this is what happens is I, I get on the podcast and it's one, it's only one sided and I can't, I can't have those conversations like, like being in this group and seeing your comments and you getting to ask me questions or make, you know, share feedback about the podcast um, or whatever, you know, what, whatever, um, challenge or program, you know, you're in, you know, you've been working through something that I've created for you. Uh, maybe it's a free guide. You know, recently I created a new free guide. Maybe some of you have the getting it done guide, but I just created a new version of that kind of COVID inspired. So is my hairdo by the way, because I haven't been able to go get it cut. So this is probably, the, this is the first time I think you'll ever see me. You've ever seen me with my hair like this. <laughs> But I'm kind of embracing this look. What do you guys think? I mean, you know, you, if you, you're, you're obviously here in the group and you've seen my usual look, but, um, but anyway, this is the look for now. So Irma says, hello. And Irma says, didn't know about the challenge, but happy to join. Well, I'm not, I'm not running that challenge now. Um, Irma, maybe in the future I will, because it's a lot of fun, but you know, it's like, I'm really focusing. I'm really doubling down on some webinars that I'm doing. I'm going to be talking about the webinar here. Um, and it's on time management and uh, it's called tame your time. Don't lose your mind. And why is it called? Why does it have that name is because, um, you know, maybe we're sheltering in place and we have the kids at home or, you know, who knows, like there's so many different things, so, so many different emotions that have come up. Um, Time is something that we can always use help with. And I'm going to be talking about time from the perspective of being a creative person and really wanting to find more time for our creative endeavors. So if you just joined the group, um, joined in on the video, I should say, share please in the comments uh, why you joined the group in the first place, like what brought you here and uh, what you hope to get out of it. Okay. So this is the beginning of, um, of more of these live videos that I'll be doing as often as I can. You know, I know I get, um, I, I announce things on my, on my um, email, um, but I feel like it's gotta be something that, you know, I do more, more often. Maybe sometimes I'll be hopping in here every single day and then other times, you know, maybe once a week or once every couple of days. So anyway, let's, let's keep, let's get going. Okay. So, um, Let's see, what do we want to talk about? All right. So I, like I said, I was kind of um, alluding to this. I want to talk about a little something called time. So many of us are at home, right? Maybe you're not, but you know, maybe you're, you do have one of those, um, you know, essential jobs, but many of us are at home. And, and the truth is, even though some of the restrictions are being lifted in a lot of places, uh, we're still advised to stay home you know, and to be smart about that, because really the, we're staying home. We're able to really help, I think, save humanity, right? We're doing everybody a favor by staying home, but maybe you're going a little bit crazy. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, you've been maybe using this time to, to learn a new craft or, or home, you know, this craft of knitting that we're really passionate about, or maybe, um, you know, 
your time, your schedule, you know, because maybe your schedule has transformed because of the fact that you are sheltering in place right now. And we have a really special opportunity right now to use this time that we have in ways that we really couldn't before. I don't know if you guys have thought about that, you know, but you know, it's like a special gift. And, and when this whole thing started uh, here in the U S a little over a month ago, now when the lockdown started, I was a little bit resentful and I was like a little bit like, Oh no, what about, you know, I have, I have my business, I have my podcast, I have, you know, and now everything's up in the air and, and I don't know if I should do this webinar, you know, um, the, the, uh, time management webinar that I started this free course, uh, that I started in, I did for the first time in February. And I thought, well, who the heck needs time management? <laughs> and then I thought, oh, MG, because right now more than ever, we have a special gift. And I believe that gift is the gift of time if you're home. And so to help you with this, I am hosting a free workshop, totally free. You're going to walk away with some goodies. Let me tell you, I'm giving away my best stuff. And it's called Tame Your Time, Don't Lose Your Mind. And this is where I'm going to be talking about three mindset issues that keep you stuck. And I'm going to show you how to overcome them because you're going to learn how to create a simple planning process to buy back your time. So you have more time for what you love, for creativity, for maybe time in the garden, for maybe time engaging in another craft that you love. Because if you're like me and you're creative and you love knitting, you like a lot of crafts. Maybe you're a knitter and a crocheter, or you want to dabble in weaving. I don't know, like whatever it is, right? So I'm sure you have lots of different things that get you excited. And so one of those ways to do it is through the process of learning how to master your time and be a total badass when it comes to doing what you want to do with your time. Time is neutral, like the actual concept of time, but how you think about time and how you decide to use it, my friend, totally up to you. So Irma says, I do. So you need to use, you need to organize your time. I hope <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I always forget what I ask. And then you're anyway. So Yes, I, I saw that come through. I'm trying to like keep a look on the comments here at the same time. So it sounds like, yes, this might be for you, Irma. And so uh, uh, if you guys, you know, just can't wait, I'll share it again. But if you want to sign up like right now, like open up another tab on your browser or on your phone, you can go to caragotwarner.com forward slash tame your time to sign up. Okay. So it's tame your time, one word. So caragotwarner.com slash tame your time. Okay. And you can save your spot. I have two days that I'm doing it next week. So the 13th and the 14th, and, um, you can pick, I think I'm doing it on the first day at noon Eastern time. And then on Thursday at 2 PM Eastern time. So check it out. Okay. Oh, awesome. Thank you for sharing the link or I appreciate that. Okay. So during the workshop, Q and A, you're going to have lots of time to ask questions about what, you know, we're, I'm talking about here, but also, you know, you can chime in and uh, ask questions. Um, but I'm going to be taking some of these things, the things that I'm going to just introduce you to these three things that keep you stuck. I'm going to talk about them here. And this is also what I'm talking about in the most recent podcast episode that is not live yet. So, like I said, you guys are getting the first dibs on the, on the podcast, and I want to start doing that more and more. So you guys get to hear it first right here before it's even on the airways. So, um, so let's dive in. Okay. You guys ready? So in my coaching experience, I've experienced, I've noticed that there are three sneaky tricks that we play on ourselves that sabotage us from reaching our ultimate goals. So what happens is we come up with all the reasons that we don't have what it takes to get organized. Okay. You ready for this? I think I need a little sip of my tea. I haven't done that yet. I'm doing all the talking. So I always forget. And then by the time I'm done, my tea is, is cold. And, and you know what? It's good to pause. It's classy to pause. That's what Brian Tracy says. One of my favorite business gurus. So here are those three 
culprits, these three things that keep us stuck and sabotage us from reaching our goals of whatever it is, more creativity, more time, more downtime for that, more white space to think of new ideas, whatever it is. So the first is doubt. This is really big. Okay. This, now these three, they kind of come in this progression, but sometimes one comes before the other, but they kind of work in this vicious circle, this vicious cycle. And so doubt is, um, doubt causes you to stop believing, right? It just stops. You stop believing that you have what it takes to actually show up and do the work. And, and in this case, we're talking about sitting down to plan, you know, to cre- carve out the time exactly the way you want. Because the thing is, is when you start, you learn the principles that I'm going to teach you in the, in the, in the, uh, what, in the workshop you'll realize how you have so much time. It's crazy. You're going to realize that. You'll be like, I have oodles of time to be creative. Okay. So doubt is the number one. Huge because you stop believing. And statistics have shown, and I'm going to use the example of an entrepreneur, but this applies to anything. So the biggest thing, the biggest problem with um, follow through and failure rates for starting a business is that you, that you stop, you don't believe like you, you have the belief isn't there. And that is not only for business, but that goes for, uh, maybe it's trying to develop your, your, your knitting skills or your crochet design skills to actually begin designing patterns or believing that your design would be beautiful in a magazine or people would want to buy it on Ravelry, whatever it is. Or just in general, like as a hobby knitter, that you could actually finish a sweater, right? Instead of asking your friend to do it, (laughs) you know? Um, So it's belief. And then number two is indecision. Okay, so after you have the doubt, the next one that kind of rears its ugly head is indecision. And And indecision makes you change your mind, makes you go down rabbit holes, because what happens is you... Um, you begin looking for the right thing instead of, you know, you don't want to do the wrong thing. So you have this label, you say, oh, I'm doing the right. I don't, I I want to do the right thing, not the wrong thing. And so I have to keep searching for the right thing and asking people or, or, you know, looking outside of myself, outside of my own inner wisdom which always leads you down the wrong path because someone else's um, decision, someone else's right thing might be your wrong thing. The only way to know what's right in those air quotes, like I love to use those air quotes, the only way to really know is by testing, okay? And then the third one is resistance. Resistance keeps you then from just showing up, keeps you from going all in. So those are the three, and I'm going to like really dive into those more in the workshop that's coming up. And I'm going to give, I'll I'll share that link in just a a few moments with you guys again. So you can, you can save your spot. There are two spots, two times, have two dates and two times next week, um, this free workshop, but I want to ask you my burning question. So I had a question before, if you're, if you're just showing up, like, why are you here? If you missed that. So go, so, so you can, or you can, you know, if you're watching the replay (laughs) or if you want to watch the replay, you'll hear that, but let me just stay focused here. So here's my next question. Okay. The burning question is, do you experience any of these three? So these three things that keep you stuck from reaching your potential creatively, has it, hasn't, has, has, have these had an impact on your creative and personal evolution? And, you know, have you seen this to hold you back from your potential? And maybe you have never really looked at whether this would, this, these have held you back from your potential, but here's where you can get a little, um, you know, you can really go inside and, and, and really ask yourself and you ask that inner wisdom that I'm talking about. What is it? So I'm going to re I'm going to repeat that again, because this is a, this is really juicy, right? So my burning questions are, do you experience these in your life? So do have you experienced doubt, indecision, and resistance in regards to reaching your goals and have, and, and what kind of impact have they had in, on you reaching your creative 
and personal evolution? How and how have they held you back? You know, how have they held you back from your potential? So let's see. So Irma says, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> yeah, of course, we all have. So the good news, Irma, and everyone else is uh, this is normal. It just proves that you're a normal human being. I'm not sharing this to say, well, let's fix this because it's not good. No, it's fine. It's totally normal. You're a human being and you're functioning 100% correct. But here's the thing. It's like when you get it, like, oh my gosh, that's coming up in my brain. Now I know I can do something about it. Or you do something called allowing instead of white knuckling. So when you see doubt come up, you're like, all right, I see you there, doubt. It's normal. You're going to come you're going to make a visit, whether I'm wildly successful and mostly confident about whatever it is that I'm doing in my life or not. It doesn't matter. It's it doubt is a, is part of the human experience. So that is the good news, right? But I can show you how to overcome them or to at least, you know, begin to eliminate them. Because when I say overcome, that might sound like rainbows and unicorns for you, right? Um, but we start, we create a nice new belief, right? A new thought. So then my next question for you is if you, if these come up, you know, you experience these, these three saboteurs, as I like to call them, what, what could be a new feeling, a new, you know, some new feelings or one really empowering feeling that you want, or maybe it's a thought that you want to write on a sticky note and remember like something like I'm a badass and I can handle anything that comes my way. I like that. That's one that I use. And that's where you can actually begin to bridge the gap and have that conversation with yourself. And as a coach, this is exactly what I do when I help my clients to overcome these. And I can show you as well. I can show you how to stop the cycle of schedule shame. So I'm going to show you that in my free workshop. I hope you'll join me. So here's the thing. Here's the simple truth with about, and this is about time. Let's get back into that whole time management, you know, how to structure your time, you know, because there is a thing, um, there is a difference between time that's out there. Time exists for all of us, right? It's neutral. It's fixed. But then, and that's clock time, but then there's psychological time. It's what we apply the thoughts onto the time. And I believe that there is a strong connection between how we manage our time in our, in our thoughts. So without mind management, there's no time management. So that's something to think about. So that I have that, I have some notes in front of me that are, it's, it's in bold because it's so true. And when you take my course, you're going to see that I really talk a lot about how mindset is the cornerstone of the time management process. So once you have, um, you understand that and you can dial that in, then the next step is that you have a clear and compelling reason for even starting that time management in the first place, because we can get really locked into this idea or, or not locked in, but, um, you know, we, we, we don't see the forest for the trees. Have you guys ever seen that, uh, heard that expression? You're busy checking off the list on your to-do list because you think it's, it's effective, it's productive, but it's not. Um, unless it is leading you in the direction of your compelling reason, which you've also heard people call your why in caps, right? Your compelling reason or your why. You have to have that why to show up and work that schedule. So once you've identified these three, you know, things that keep you stuck, you allow them, but then you also have this bigger reason why you're showing up every day. And that's the magic sauce. Okay. Because then the tools, right? The planner, the fancy planner, the digital calendar, the Googles, all those things, they work because you decided to show up and have a purpose for planning. So you could just you know, get all that other stuff dialed in. And I don't even care what you use to plan. You could use a, a yellow pad, you know, a, a legal pad, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could still do that. And actually I do know people that do that. So here's the thing, no perfect schedule. There's no perfect schedule at all. And that's good news, right? It's like, whew, thank goodness you told me that, right? 
You just start where you are and you make B minus work your bestie. B minus is your bestie. There's another phrase I just want to throw out there because I love it. And then we're going to wrap it up. And that is um, done. I almost forgot it. Done is better than perfect. Yes, I love that. So if you want to get a hold of your schedule and your time, then join me for my free workshop and overcome these three mindset issues that keep you stuck. So you can craft a realistic system to tame your time and not lose your mind. Okay. So you guys go reserve your spot. Okay. Go now. You need this. If you're struggling with time, go to caragotwarner.com slash tame your time. So caragotwarner.com forward slash tame your time. And I'm going to see you in class. I'm going to throw it in the comments when I'm done here with this live video. And again, if you're home, you're sheltering in place, you have the kiddos at home or your schedule is a mess. You're trying to work remotely for an employer, whatever it is, you are going to be able to come and watch, you know, take this workshop and you, you decide to come and get what you need out of the workshop and you're going to get it. I promise you. Okay. That's it. Thank you for joining me this afternoon and I will see you on the podcast and in the community. You take care. Bye-bye.